What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today we are going to be getting behind the wheel of one of the most expensive and exclusive cars in this game. It's the 2017 Pagani Huayra BC. So uh, man, Pagani Huayra's absolute legend. It's one of the most beautiful cars in the world. It's so unique. It's so iconic. It's so legendary and uh, obviously very, very expensive. You guys can see it's going to run us back uh, about $1.5 million dollars which is insane but um the bc version if you guys don't know it's like a special edition of it it's actually upgraded it's a little bit more powerful a little bit nicer it's named after benny c i don't know how to pronounce his last name but he was actually the first pagani customer the first one to buy a car and he was a personal friend of Mr. Pagani's. So uh, I believe he passed away and they came out with the BC version kind of in remembrance of him, which is, is kind of cool. So it's cool to know the background of these vehicles. But anyway, $1.5 million. Let's drop it like it's hot, baby. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this. Whew. Listen to this thing. Okay, that is absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness, dude. It is so fast out of the gate. It has a beautiful sound. Control is immaculate, man. I This has some of the best handling I've seen out of any vehicle in terms of, of just straight stock. Look at this, bro. We are going to have so much fun with this. So here we go. We're going to take this thing back to the garage. We're going to customize it up. I think it's a 4 out of 10 customization, so... Not too many visual mods that we can do, but there are going to be some. Uh, we may upgrade it a little bit. I don't think we're going to go too hard. It's already, what was it, a, a 340 or a 360 or something like that. So I feel like it's not necessary to upgrade it performance-wise, but I guess we'll see what happens. I'm just, uh, I'm excited to be here, man. Really want to start getting through some of these, these more... <laughs> yeah, can brother. Some of these more exclusive rides in this game. So uh, anyway, let's check out performance. Like I said, uh, we've got a, uh, a 754 horsepower 6 liter V12 in there right now. We can do an engine swap to an 868 horsepower V8 hybrid, but I'm not going to do that, dude. I, I, I want the stock Pagani engine in here. We're a 338. I mean, we could we could move up to some ultimate parts. But I also don't want this thing to get too crazy. I'm kind of tempted to leave it as is. I'm thinking maybe we, uh, I mean, we, we could definitely use the 15 pound tank of nitrous. Actually, I think I'm gonna take that off of our last vehicle. The M2 comp, I'm sorry, buddy, but uh, let me grab this ultimate nitrous. I'm gonna put a, uh, a, a three pound sport tank on there and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take this back. Now we've got this ultimate tank in our inventory. Do we want the five three pound tanks or do we want the one 15 pound tank? I'm gonna go. I'm going to go with five three-pound tanks. I think the 15-pound tank is a lot of fun. I think it's a little too much, though. Like, unless you're going in a straight line pretty much the entire time, it's just not its not really worth it. We could put a super track suspension on here, so a small upgrade there. We might, might upgrade the clutch a little bit. I'm down for that. It's going to give us a little bit more acceleration, 15K on a new clutch, so not bad there. Drivetrain, do we want to change this up at all? I, I don't feel like... It really does all that much for us. So I think I'm going to leave it as is. Ox things, I don't know that we really need them. I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see what happens. So this is going to be a 349 level. And uh, like I said, it's a, uh, it's a, a 750 horsepower stock engine. So I like that. I want to keep it stock. I want it to, to kind of sound like it's meant to sound. You know what I mean? So this is pretty dope. I don't, I don't mind it, but not really my thing. Kind of a, a little cheesy. We've got this color changing purple. That's actually really sick. Oh my goodness, that thing just shines. The Black Samurai, it's called. We've got this red and can't even really tell what's going on there. We've got, oh, that is pretty. It's a blue carbon fiber, a navy carbon fiber. We might have to go for something like that. Or we could go with an orange carbon fiber, Mansory Edition. Do we have a gray carbon fiber here? Ooh, that's pretty fancy as well. That looks nice. It's got that stock blue stripe down the middle. I'm I'm gonna have a hard time choosing here. I think I might like the navy. I feel like the navy looks super, super slick. We've got a green carbon. Oh, that's color changing. Yeah, I don't like that. We could also just grab carbon fiber and kind of make our own color for it. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling that dark blue. I feel like that dark blue looks super clean. 
It's kind of hard to tell it's dark blue. It's almost black, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. I dig that. Onto our body work. Let's see what kind of options we have here. We've got a Speed Hunters bumper. Ooh, I'm gonna stick with the stock for sure. Do we wanna put a, a different type of splitter on there? Some interesting options here. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. The stock also looks really, really good. I mean, I think I'm gonna leave it stock, dude. It's it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to beat the stock. I'm not gonna lie. We can add the canards on the side, or we can have that LED come across the front, dude. See, I kind of like the LED coming across the front. We can smoke out the headlights or turn them blue. Blue might be kind of interesting. Or smoke. I, I like smoking them out. To me, this thing looks like an alien. Like, look at the eyes. It's got like four eyes in the front. When you look at it straight on, it's got like the little antennas coming out for its uh, its side mirrors. Pretty insane if you ask me. See what we can do here. I mean, that's pretty mean right there. I'm gonna go with the Speed Hunters look. Okay. Do we have, we don't have anything for our front fenders. We have trim options. So this gets rid of the stripe down the middle. If you guys can see, you can definitely see it up on the roof line up top. I'm gonna go with that because I feel like it looks better. We do have the Italian, you know, kind of racing stripes on the hood, so I feel like we don't need the second stripe down uh, down the side. Can we change? We could change the side skirts. Bro, these are insanity. I mean, the stock looks pretty good. I guess we could go with something like this. I want it to be kind of unique, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want it to be straight stock, but... Like I said, we don't really have a ton of options. We can have red, we can have a yellow, or we can have a dark. I'm gonna go with a dark there. Okay. We've got a rear diffuser. The stock rear diffuser looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I I gotta be honest with you. I think the stock one looks the best. I'm, I'm gonna keep it stock. Dude, this is, this is a little unfortunate, but I guess it's just kind of what you gotta deal with. Oh, we can change the rear bumper. I'll do that. Kind of make a little a little dimple in the sides there. Change the exhaust. I mean, I feel like the stock looks really good. I like it when we black it out a little bit. We could go with two huge ones there, but I feel like the quad exhaust is so iconic. It's kind of hard to get rid of the quads. Uh, we could go something like this. So it's got kind of like the metallic-y tips. Could be kind of interesting. Trunk lid. Could it be a... Ooh. I like that. I like the fins on the side. That's cool. And then spoiler... I mean, it's got a pretty intense spoiler already. Do we want to make it even bigger? I feel like we could make it, make it bigger. But it's, dude, the stock spoiler looks so good. But I'll, I'll make it bigger just to, just to switch things up a little bit. I don't know. I, I want this thing to be relatively unique. We just don't really have a lot of options to make it unique. So, um, I guess the last thing is going to be our wheels. To be honest, I think I, I'm going to go with black primary color. We may change to a like a gray secondary color, or we could go a white, but I, I feel like black is probably gonna look the best. What do you guys think here? Yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of a dark, very aggressive car, so I, 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 feel, I feel like that looks the best. I'm gonna change up our brake discs to the ones with the lines in them. You guys know I like those. And then for the calipers, we could go blue, we could go yellow, we could go black, we could go red. I'm thinking the the yellow might look pretty nice here. I kind of like the idea of, of having yellow. I just feel like yellow on blue really stands out a lot. I'm gonna get super creative on the, the license plate here, Wyra. All right, so uh, from a visual standpoint, I mean, I kind of expected uh, a car of this caliber is, is not gonna have a ton of, of body kit options and stuff, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's kind of, it's kind of perfect out of the, the box. I guess we can tint all the windows on there. It's, it's, it's pretty solid out of the box. I didn't think we were going to have many options, but um, we, we did what we could here. So for effects, I mean, you guys already kind of know the deal here. We can go with some blue tire smoke and uh, who do we want? Science? I'll try science smoke. That's kind of interesting. We'll go with blue nitrous color, blue tire smoke. I don't know that I, I'm not going to put any neons on this. I think it's a little bit too nice. I don't even think I'm going to bag it. I think we're just going to gonna drop it where we can I don't want too much camber though so I mean really is it even worth dropping I guess we could drop it too we'll drop it two levels let's listen to the exhaust here <laughs> yeah 
Yes, sir. That thing, that, that sounds absolutely incredible. So there you guys have it. JK, y'all thought we were leaving it there. I don't know, dude. Like, I was, I was looking at it, and the blue was beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And I think on a bright, sunny day, the blue would look really, really good. But uh, I just, I wanted something more. I wanted to be able to see the curves and the angles and the edges. Like, this is such a beautiful car. I didn't feel like the super dark color was doing it justice. So we went with a, uh, a bit of a green here. Green carbon fiber looks pretty nice. Obviously, green and yellow go pretty well together, too. This could be like a, a Sprite car or something. But, um, yeah, I, I, feel, I feel like this, this looks solid. I, I like it a lot better than, uh, than the dark blue. Again, I think in, in sunlight, the dark blue would have looked great. But I think for, for most situations, and it kind of rains a lot in this game, and we're racing in the night a lot and stuff, like, I didn't want it to be another Knight Rider type car, like, Batmobile type car, where it's just this black wedge that you can't really see what's happening. It's a pretty, pretty vehicle, so we want to be able to see them curves, see them edges, and uh, appreciate her for who she is, so... We're going to get this thing out in the streets. I'm excited to see how it performs. I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty, pretty insane. I just love that stock sound, dude. Oh, my goodness. I mean, to be honest, it doesn't feel a whole lot different than, uh, than when we bought it stock. It feels a little bit quicker, but now that I think about it, we didn't really upgrade it much, did we? We just made it look different, so... I guess, uh, I guess that makes sense. I was ready to have my socks blown off, but honestly, I'm kind of glad we didn't. I mean, in the last episode, it was kind of fun not having the best car in the game, even though this is one of the best cars in the game, even just stock. So, anyway, I'm going to go find us a nice race. I'll see you guys there. So, a few episodes ago, we started off with a, uh, a time trial, and I feel like... I feel like that's a solid idea. I mean, to be honest, the time trials are some of my favorite races in this game. They're just a little bit different. They're, uh, they're unique, but uh, I feel like it's a good idea to kind of get to know the car, see how she reacts to different, you know, turning the wheel and acceleration and braking and stuff before you commit to a race. It's just like a, I mean, like a date, you know what I mean? Like, you swipe with her on, on Tinder and then you, you want to go, you want to go inspect the Instagram. Uh, you don't, you don't want to trust that those pictures on Tinder are real and that she actually looks that good. You want to make sure that she's... She's legit. You're not getting catfished. So that's exactly what we're doing here. Kind of overshot that corner a little bit. This is a bit of an aggressive first race, I'm going to be honest. I didn't know this was going to be like all jumps and just ridiculousness, but it's kind of fun at the same time. Like I said, you kind of learn, learn how you can take care of her with this. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're fine. Just keep on... Keep on rate. Whoa, okay. All right. Um, I don't know why we randomly flew off to the left right there, but we did. We're okay, though. Gonna be taking a left now. We are 52% of the way through this race, and this has been ridiculous so far. Oh, I think we just... We have a second lap. My boy Havich is... Uh, he's back there quite a ways. He's 1.2 miles behind us. He's having a hard time on his own little his own little course. So I I would venture to say we've got this one in the bag. Let's not overshoot this this time. See, we saw it coming. Let's go. So I think we learned something about this car. Would not recommend off-roading. This thing is is not handling the jumps and the the randomness very well. But bada bing, bada boom. What do you know? We got a nice little win there. All right. I'm feeling pretty confident. Let's move into a race. I mean, I don't know if that was the the best opening one to do oftentimes those really test your your you know accuracy and making sure you can stay in a straight line and and stay between the lines and stuff like that this thing just feels solid dude like i'm throwing it back and forth just twerking that butt around and it's there is there is nothing to be concerned about this thing just stays glued to the road it doesn't really get sideways i think if i lift and and gas it it might get a little sideways but overall i mean this thing is just okay that was a bad example there we kind of did it a little bit too hard but overall this thing is it, it's sticky it just it's gonna handle every corner we throw at it it's uh it's gonna be quick it's gonna be solid i i just i think all around this is just gonna be a good car it doesn't necessarily 
excel in ev in anything, it kind of excels in everything. And it's beautiful. I, I It's kind of a to each their own type thing, you know what I mean? Like, it's... I think most people would call this car beautiful, though. Like, it's... It's just so unique. Nothing else really looks like it. It's kind of like a, a Tesla Cybertruck, except less polarizing, you know what I mean? A lot of people hate it, a lot of people love it. I feel like most people probably love this, but it's equally unique, so... We'll, uh, we'll see what we can do here. Off to a not-so-great start, but we're gonna be okay. I do believe I remember racing this in the past, so... I think, uh... I think I'm gonna know the, the little shortcuts and stuff we're gonna be able to take. Just gotta, gotta get used to turning. That last race didn't really help us out with turning very much. Oh, dude, yeah, this thing is... She's quick. This is gonna be a, a great day. I'm trying to get it to, to drift. It doesn't really drift. You guys know I do... I enjoy drifting in this game, so like, that does knock it down a couple of points for me. I mean, it will little bits, but like this, it's kind of a little bit late to get sideways. But that's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, if you're going in a straight line and want to make quick adjustments, you can. It's kind of, like, honestly, it's pretty much the polar opposite of the Beetle that we did. Like, it's, it's much more solid in a straight line and not quite as good at turns. Whereas the Beetle was the opposite, but they're both super fast. Just dominating this race, dude. It's not even, not even close. Yeah, I think, I think we're probably gonna have to, have to bring this thing underground. I'm feeling pretty confident. Although, to be honest, she's really not that fast. Like, she's, she's quick, but I wouldn't necessarily call her, I wouldn't call her fast. Like, she takes a while, especially once you get up past 100. I feel like it takes a while to, to get up to 150, 175, 200. I don't know. I could be crazy. She feels solid. But like I said, just doesn't doesn't really excel at anything. It's just kind of a jack of all trades type of type of vehicle, which can be good and can be bad. So, I guess we'll see what happens. I really love the shifting in this car. You guys ready for this? Watch like every time every time we shift, there's like a a serious jolt and it kind of like lunges forward it's kind of cool you guys see that it's pretty aggressive right like I, I feel like it's it's a little bit more intense than a lot of the other cars that we deal with but um, all right we we swap things over to nighttime here we've got a sprint race scram jet we haven't been down in this rocket area in a little bit, so I figured we could check it out down here. This is a recommended level 320. We are a little bit higher than it, but to be honest, these night races typically kind of kick up the difficulty a little bit, plus you add the cops and stuff. So we'll start with this, and then if we need more, we can uh, can definitely bring it. The green looks really good at night, dude. I like it. It's It's got a little bit of, of definition to it. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not just a, a black blob where you can't really tell what's going on we actually have a bit of uh ooh, it's a car we've got a, a a bit of contour to it we've got a, a bit of personality i like how it turned out it's subtle okay we gotta we gotta look at the road and not the car trev i'm sorry about that um yeah it's subtle i, I think if it was black i think all the beauty of this car would be lost so i i think our last minute switch up from the, the navyish black to blue or to, to green, I mean, was uh, was a good idea, dude. Look at that section right there. We're just flat out and just turning with no problem at all. It's so nice. Woo. Turns like that aren't quite as as smooth because we can't we can't drift, but this thing performs so well at high speeds in a straight line. Be able to quickly change lanes and not spin out. You guys remember our slug bug episode, the, the beetle episode? That thing, if you tug the wheel at this speed, it would just instantly turn into mush. I don't know, it was, it was odd. Let's see if we can get a, oh shoot, we don't even have to drift these, dude. Like I said, this thing is sticky. Ooh, kind of over overdid that a little bit, but that's okay. Looking, looking pretty solid so far. We uh, we were like 
I mean, this was recommended for a level 320. I think we're a 349, so we were a little over leveled here. I wanted to, to start with something easy, start with one we hadn't done in a while, and then we'll try to get a, a much harder one in the next, the next race. Gonna go ahead and stop by the gas station real quick, get us fixed up, looks good, and let's, uh, let's roll out, baby. I don't think we're gonna go too hard on the cops tonight. I mean, I don't really feel like this is the car to do it in. We're, f we're fast, but we're not, we're not as fast as I would prefer to be. I think we could probably pull away on the cops, but usually it's better to be a little bit more safe than sorry. I'm just kind of out here to enjoy this. So the Ocean Drive Race, we're already up to a level two heat. Completing this should put us somewhere around a level four, probably three and a half to four. And um, we'll see what kind of chaos we've got to deal with there. I'm actually pretty impressed with this thing. I've, I've enjoyed it. It's not my favorite car that we've had. It's kind of, it's honestly, it's a little bit bland. It, it's like it needs a little bit of hot sauce. You need to throw some hot sauce on there and it tastes a little better. But it's not bad. It's, it's a decent meal. It's, it's solid. It just could be a little bit more exciting. Here we go, baby. Off to a fast start. Dude, these guys are quick. Gotta be careful, gotta watch out for those oncoming cars. Woo! Got a hard left here. Oh, there's there's a bit of a drift. All right, I see you. I think we can cut across through this parking lot. Little shortcut. We're going at it with this Ferrari. This is some good racing here, fellas. Woo! Go in tandem. Oh, now he's getting dirty. Okay. Dude, the fact that we were able to turn out from in front of that truck right there is just incredible. This car is so good from a turning perspective. This is a good race. Bro, me and this Ferrari, we are, we are getting after it here. Here we go. Would rather play it safe. I'm gonna break early in the corner so we can accelerate early as well. Make sure we don't run into anybody. Bro, this thing just eats up slight curves. It just digs in there and stays. It doesn't start to slide at all. It's so nice. It's, it's good in some ways, bad in others. Like some of them I wanna get a little bit more loose, but you just gotta kind of expect it, I guess. Whew. We're okay. This is a pretty evenly matched race too. So like the fact that we're this far ahead, this thing does handle pretty well. I almost feel like maybe that's why I think it's boring is because it handles so well. I'd really be curious if we did do an engine swap and fully max it out and stuff, if you would keep that same level of handling. Cause if you increase the speed on this and kept the handling the same, I think this would probably be the best car in the game or one of the best that we've used so far. Woo! We're good. Dude, we haven't even seen any cops or anything. This is just straight domination. Got some straights here. Oh, looks like there's a cop on the back stretch as we're gonna close out this race, so that should make things a bit interesting. He's hanging out at the gas station, probably picking up a coffee and some donuts. Yeah, dude, this thing, I mean, I, I really don't know what else to say. It's its pretty incredible. What's up, copper? We've got some more cops up here in front of us. We're about to lose one, picked up another, picked up two more, actually. I'm just gonna go, dude. Hey, how's it going? The scanner's blowing up here. Someone's on a mission to piss off the cops. Looks like we're I want that driver found. No pretty much maxed out about 213 miles an hour. Not too shabby, dude. Not too shabby at all. Yeah, I, to be honest, I, I do, I wish it was a little bit faster, but I mean, like, look at that right there. The fact that 200 plus miles an hour and we're yanking the wheel like that and we're able to recover and not go speed wobbling out of control, it's just incredible. Wow. I, I don't know what else to say. That, that was just a good all around That's car. So hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.